Alright, g'day YouTubers, race fans and everyone else in between. Uh, back again with this uh, RFAC 2 skin tutorial part 2, doing the windows. I'm going to give a shout out and a message from Aiden from the other side of the world saying, hey, where's the second part of this tutorial? So I said I'll do it this Saturday. So here it is. Let's get into it. We've got the skin pack that we need, the uh, the templates, and I'll just bring that up wherever I've hidden it. Let's have a look, simulator, there it is. Uh, skin template, wherever you save it. Uh, original template, this is the uh, the FVR mod, you can see here the, uh, the Ford FGX 2016 V8 supercar. So, let's go into this templates. There it is, FGX Windows. This is what we're doing. Just uh, bugger the old one off. Okay, so here we are. Alt and wheel mouse to zoom in and out. Same as before. I don't know if I explained that in the first video, but uh, I'm going to make this one pretty short and sweet just so we can get through it. Uh, same as before. Cycle the eyeballs to. Um, Hide and reveal layers. So, overlay. Yeah, in fact, we'll get rid of that. So, all we're going to do today is, is is get some um, tint on the the lights, and we're going to change the numbers. So, to find everything again, there it is. Cycle through the eyeball, names and numbers. So, we're going to this folder in the layers here. We're going to go down, and there it is. Name left right and rear so click on name left see there it's brought it up down the bottom here then we go into the uh, text tool uh, look up here before you go into it you can change the color you know, black white red whatever ah look for the purpose let's go black uh, click it on it I'm going to highlight it I'm going to type mine in Gussie, my game name. There's my cat clawing my mattress in the background. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, name right. Click on that one. Anyway, we'll go black again for that. Okay, I light it. Put my name in. And it didn't go black. Back, do it. Thank you. Uh, numbers, number re. Yep. Oh, text tool. Oh, oh, drag it off the screen. Uh, we'll highlight it. Sixty-nine, because that's my number. Number front. Click on that layer. Highlight it. Sixty-nine. Number left. Oh. Highlight it, 69, and on the right, 69, okay, so we're all done there, um, we're going to get rid of a few of these brake ducts, to, I mean the, um, the air ducts, so I think that's the ducts one, so we'll just get back rid of that folder because we're done with it, Ducks. There it is, we can see that cycling through. So let's open it up and have a look. So, there we go, it's the front one, the front one. Yep, yeah, so I'll switch these ones off. So let's got rid of those. Uh, ah, look, I'm not going to go into full detail on this because it dragged on and on and on. I'm not going to make a half hour video on how to add extra stickers and alpha layers and stuff like that so look give us a shout out in the comments if you want to see stuff like that or make another video but keeping it short and sweet so we can just get the uh, this in the game uh, 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 get rid of that get rid of that um yeah we're gonna do the headlights and tint those yeah there we go it's under the extras folder 
open that up, we'll scroll down and have a look. Headlights, headlights, headlights covers. There it is there. Yeah, what we're gonna do is keep this simple. I'm gonna delete that layer. Start my own layer. And we'll go down the bottom here. We'll get some folded paper bit. New layer. Layer two here, there's a new layer. We'll double click on that and label it to keep it good. Uh, let me say, red, white, covers. Uh, that's done. So, all we're going to do is now in the headlight covers, we're going to get the brush tool. Uh, we're going to pick a colour down here in the colour swatch. And my cat's annoying me. I'm going to let it out. Right, got rid of the cat. Oh, cat. Anyway, um, so yeah, pick the colour. Okay, I'm going to pick blue because I think the blue we did in the car in the first tutorial. So I'm just going to paint those over like that. And then I'm going to go back over to here to the headlight covers layer. I'm going to double click on it, bring up the layer style. So I need blending options, opacity. There you go, see so we can adjust the opacity. So be able to see through it. Uh, yep, yeah, 81% that'll do. Uh, done. So that's it, we've tinted the windows. You know, you can add more layers. So you just gotta make sure, I think, with like these extras. Yes, if you're gonna put some. Um, layers in like stickers over the top of the window or make your own stuff up then you're gonna have to make sure it's above this layers here so yeah bung it right up the top with your layer so it'll be seen because any layers underneath another layer gets covered up obviously in the order of hierarchy here anyway we're done there let's get it into the game so what we're going to do is, or I nearly forgot, is we're going to have to discard the hidden layers and flatten the image. So we'll go flatten image. I'm sure there's a couple of Ford stickers on here somewhere, but they're probably um, hiding in there. I haven't gotten rid of them yet. Discard hidden layers. Uh, it's just all a matter of playing around with it. So now we flatten the image down. You can see on the right here, no more layers. And we're going to go to the save as. And we're going to save it as a DDS file. Um, I'm going to not save it in the original templates. I'm going to go back to skin template and save it in there. Right, I'm going to show you a bit of a trick too. I'm going to bring up my... Um, there it is. Uh, the R Factor 2 folder. There we go. Um, there we use data. Player settings. Now we find the FGX the FBR mod supercars. Here it is. We'll go into that. We'll be working with that temporary folder, the temp car I did before. The ones that I can't remember I like not labeled it. Back the game, but we'll find it. Um, so there it is. So I have got Windows in here, but I was mucking around with something before playing around with it. But we're going to overwrite that one and put our folder in to see what the Windows look like in game. Because uh, though so we need to make this mass file up for the game, we need the skin and the Windows. Now, naming, same as I went through in the first uh, tutorial, we got test temp, we've named it, and then dash alt to say it's the alternative uh, skin we're using, so test temp alt, and then to say it's windows, we add x window, or one word with the alt behind um, our label there. This will tell the game that it's the uh, the windows file. And all I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to copy that time burn, copy, and we're going to bung it. Onto this one, paste, call it the same thing, save it into that 
I'll be there. I'll do it for the moment. Save. Uh, DDX5. Don't change any settings from what I've got here. To do texture and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what we're saving it as. So bang, wait, waiting, and that should be saved. Just going to find that folder. Uh, what have we got? Temp. So, and move the other folder. Uh, template. Oh, yeah. the original template. Back here, skin templates where I put it. Silly me. Uh, there it is there. What we're going to do is, is uh, I'm working out of the R Factor folder over here. I usually keep these files with the mass file in the game just to keep track of everything. Uh, it doesn't hurt the game having them there. Uh, so we're going to grab this one, I'm gonna move it into here, and we're going to replace it. So now that's done. That's all the latest stuff we've done in the in the game. Uh, where are we here? Need to get the R Factor 2 game going as well. So there we go. Uh, wait for Steam to do its stuff. I'm on Steam. Damn you, Steam! I'm always doing something. Uh, okay, so we need to get the mass file utility going. I'll get that one off for a sec. So, this is here we're going to make it. So, basically, we're going to drag and drop these into this, save it as this file back into the game folder. So, Windows, Skin, go up to File, Save As. Now, we're just going to check that this folder is the same as the one we're working in. User data, player, settings, GX, temp, which is this folder here. So that's the mass file it's showing. That's the one we want. We're going to overwrite it with the new information. Or if you didn't have a mass file in there, like the first tutorial, we'd be making it. But I'm going to overwrite it because adding the windows in and save. Done. Uh, bugger that one off. Um, bugger that one off. And let's have a look at the car. That's it. That's how easy it is. Right, here we go. Okay, now we're in R Factor. We'll go to car. I'm already in the right folder. Um, yeah, that's a little, that should be it. Tuning. Yes, there it is there. Blue skin directory. That's the folder we were working out of with the temp folder. Well, there it is. As you can see there, the name, numbers, with the black. I wouldn't recommend using the black as you can see because of the um, the alpha layers used in it. Uh, it's not going to show up too well, but um, yeah, you can just see the vent on the front. Let's get into game and have a look at it. So we're there. Okay, here we are in game. Let's have a look at it. Vroom vroom. Data logging enabled. Uh, let's jump out of there and we'll swing around and have a look. There we go. There's that. Give me names. As you can see, the black doesn't turn up too well because it's got alpha layers on it. So this is just a basic one. If uh, yeah, somebody wants to put a message yeah, in, the, in the comments to say that they want to start playing with the, uh, the alpha layers on the the, the lettering and numbering and let us know. I can do that but this is just to get the windows and everything in game. So there you are. You can see the uh, yeah the, the, the blue on the, the headlights that we put in there. All my numbers are on there. So that's all just basic. As I said when you go through all those uh, layers in the, in the template you can delete them all and get rid of them. So you don't have to have that forward or FBR factor, anything on there. But you can see the alpha layers on the. Zoom in a bit. Yeah, you can see down there the uh, the air scoop and the opacity on the, the alpha layers on the window. So anyway, if you want to see more? Let us know. But uh, yeah, like and subscribe to see more of my videos. Hit the bell button so you can get notified that I put one up. And uh, that's done. Got uh, Windows.
login template done in-game. Uh, thanks for coming, we'll catch you later. See ya.